GMRT has been in news recently because of interesting new discoveries which are related to picking up the signal from what we call neutral atomic hydrogen gas in the universe. Um, it turns out that atomic hydrogen is the most common element in the universe, which is a bit surprising to us living on the Earth uh, because we are used to all different kinds of elements that uh, including complex molecules. But if you look at the scales on which galaxies are and uh, in the universe, then the most common material is hydrogen gas. And the hydrogen gas signal is uh, most readily picked up in the radio telescope frequency range. And in fact, the GMRT was designed to be able to pick up some of the uh, signals coming from such clouds of neutral hydrogen, atomic hydrogen in galaxies, both in our galaxy as well as in other galaxies and up to far distant galaxies in the universe. And now the GMRT, because of its high sensitivity, has now been achieving these kind of goals and people are slowly detecting the presence of neutral hydrogen in further and further away galaxies. And the further and further away galaxy means that since the signal travels at the speed of light, it takes a finite amount of time for the signal to reach us. So if the galaxy is further away, the signal will take longer time to reach us, which means that it started uh, earlier, which means that you are seeing the galaxy as it existed not today, but many years ago. And many years can be millions of years, billions of years. So that is the power of these kind of observations where you can pick up the signal from galaxies billions of years uh, back. So you're, look, you're able to look back in time. And that allows you to reconstruct the history of the universe. Thank you.